Okay guys, this is it. I'm going to show you guys my new studio, my new workspace. So, new year, new workspace for me. So, let's check out from here. So, over here, if you can, can see, this is all the space tools. Basically, this section only is for display. Up here is Janiper, yeah, sanding board, uh, cutting mat. And down here, some other stuff like the vacuum, uh, scribing tape, and masking tape. Down there, my, all the display thinner. This is coating remover. And this one is the tool wash. And this is the, the yellow one is the color thinner. And also the blue one also is the thinner. And this is the mini thinner. Leveling thinner for metallic colors. And, oh no, this is leveling thinner and this is the specially thinner for metal paint and enamel thinner. So down here is the paint, the display paint. This is the yellow display paint. And over here is the blue foam that I use oftenly on my diorama. So I really like this foam because it's hard and easy to carve. I prefer this foam for my diorama. So I got a plenty of it. And then up here is just my random collection Deadpool, Batman that I 3D printed and paint. And this is Zeta Converge, my my sort of uh, display for EA Gunpla Studio. And of course, this one my. 100,000 subscribers played from YouTube. So thank you so much to you guys that subscribe to my channel. And without you guys, I probably won't be able to achieve that. So thank you, thank you so much. And this is my build of RG High New. Full uh, heavy weapon system that I custom. Okay, so this area is gun primers stuff like Razor. Also Razor the Black. And his and their sanding sponge balancer, also their their sandpaper. All right, sandpaper. I lost words. And fake plants, grida. This is basically this level is gun primer stuff. And then my most favorite area of this studio is my diorama diorama materials. So this is acrylic paint from AK. Basically all of these are AK. Some of them are Vallejo. Both of them are very, very good acrylic paint, water-based. And this is enamel wash from uh, AK. I really like their washes because it really looks realistic. I really recommend you guys to, to get this if you guys want to start on doing diorama. And also their diorama paste. I really really love it. Very very realistic. So I have snow, wet ground, and asphalt. Like if you want to do a road, you can use this. And then some other washes like Mr. Hobby washes, enamel from Tamiya. This is food coloring, as you guys can see. So basically I use this to color my epoxy resin if I want to do water for my diorama. So I use this for coloring. And then down here is small diorama stuff. So this is the trees from Woodland Scenic. So I use their brand, their product for doing like a miniature tree or larger scale tree. So I have plenty. This is some sand rocks I have to do my diorama and PVA glue, small trees from Woodland Scenic. And of course, ice cream stick, some wood stick, and sponges. So sometimes if you want to do like chipping, I use this rough, rough sponge because it has a better texture. If you instead of using like this makeup sponge, it has a different texture. So it depends on what kind of chipping you want to get. So different sponges will have different result. So and then this is cork board and my plug plates. 
and evergreen place evergreen styrene strip so i use this for my diorama and oops <laughs> all right and and this is hot glue gun hot glue gun so down here are some random random stuff like my camera box my lens and spider-man figure and this is uh, uv resin for 3d printing as you guys can see on my left this is my 3d printer lately i often use them since i have like i'm doing dioramas and i'm painting miniature so I'm using Elgo Saturn which is they are have their quality is really really great it's 4k resolution so you can get very fine detail so this is some of the example I printed Bioshock character Big Daddy so I have a diorama commission for this one so I'm going to do it soon and this is the Anycubic wash and cure so I'm using this to cure the printed resin and wash them so use i'm using this one and up here you guys can see my newly released pre-thin lacquer paint from ea gunpla and at series so we are doing collaboration to produce this paint and my favorite paint is this one uh, this white ea gunpla because i specifically mix this one so that I have my own white so the white is mixed with grey and slightly blue tint so this is not pure white it has slightly grey and bluish tint so I really love this color and we have black, red, orange, yellow and purplish blue my old collection uh, I forgot what it's name uh, Rikong Gistaji and this is RX78 Beyond Global and this is Red Bull Red Bull Special Edition which is around how many millimeter, milliliter? 473 milliliter which is it's hard to get right now it's very very big okay let's move on to this drawer basically this is the most important drawer for my workstation lah. so inside you guys will see some messy messy stuff but all of these are my frequently used tools for my project such as my um, chisel handle from display and chisel handle from Matworks also some putty T-roller mask carving tape, scribing tape part separator sanding, sanding board, sanding stick uh, electric grinder from display mini drill so yeah it's very very messy but i know where my tool is so i don't have to worry about it <laughs> but it's it's very messy there's some drills sub chisel over here and sanding plate method from from this pay and okay up here is chisel from this pay which is i really recommend it's very good very high quality and this space I don't take rack for for putting your glue so it's safer to put it here super glue from this pay this is from Gaia Note CA glue and acrylic acrylic cube UV light from this pay and super glue applicator and this one is a mini clamp from this pay which is I really really love this one it's a very high quality and very solid, very heavy. I really recommend this to you guys if you guys want to have a clamp. Uh, and also it's uh, very nice to take a picture with. Alright. I forgot to, to show you guys my sanding sponge. This is uh, from Display. So they have many grids like 800, 600, 400. And this is the higher grid lah, like 1000, 1002, 1005, 2000 and 2005. And this is the wet palette from this pay. And if you put the water here, and then yeah. So let's move on to the next area, which is over here. 
my actually this is quite random stuff inside this i haven't organized it yet so it has random random stuff and i haven't labeled it yet so let me show you guys what kind of random it is in this one it's a lot of sending sponge sending stick from infini madworks uh what's called this madworks micro saw fine craft saw which is to cut your parts and some blades epoxy putty from tamia metal parts for zaku or sazabi sending sponge from god hand it's also random this is metal parts so yeah i haven't organized it yet so let's keep it in there and then empty i have like usb and random random stuff this is paint from this pay i store it here this space paint like green and up here paint cup so i use the paint cup to mix my paint so after i pre-mix my paint and i want to have like a different tone of colors so i mix them inside this this is really really helpful so you can airtight store so the paint won't dry i bought it at shopee and then what else inside here some glue random stuff random random and also another paint cup and up here if you guys can see this is my lenses some of my lenses i have three currently so before, previously i used this as my main lens for my shooting i always use this one it is this is sigma 30mm f1.4 this is a really really great lens i really love it but I, uh, the problem is I cannot zoom in when I'm working with my project so I decided to buy a new lens that can zoom in so in this camera right now I'm using Sony 18 to 105 mm so when I want to close up I just can zoom in instead of moving the tripod so it's easier to have a zoom lens and this is Samyang 12 mm manual lens I rarely use this one okay uh, down here also some random stuff lah spoons and then some random pain pain also pain so yeah random lah and then let's move on to my spray booth side but before that i need to change the setup of this room the lighting because over there is kind of dark so yes let's change the light <laughs> Okay guys, so this is it, the other side of the studio. We have to change the lighting setup so that it's brighter over here. And since this room is quite small, it is the, the I forgot to tell you guys, I forgot to tell you guys that this room is similar size to my previous studio, but it's quite spacious because I didn't put my backlogs inside here. My backlogs are upstairs in my room. So it's quite spacious, but still small lah. So over here is my paint, finishes paint, my primers, my top coat, my anchor red paint. This is for painting, paint station, and my crocodile, crocodile clip, long one, the short one, and this is and this is flat plates from Evergreen. So I use this for my customizing. This is really helpful. Pre, it's like thin like this so just can cut 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 with the same same width i like it and my airbrush i have like five but i only mainly use like three so this is from angel trend trading 80 airbrush so both of these are from 80 and i use this both for my priming session so when i prime i use this one these two and for coloring i use uh, procon mr hobby airbrush 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 but mainly i use 0 0.3 lah. so this is my airbrush setup and this is also from 80 it's quite cheap airbrush so this is a very good for beginner if you guys want to try airbrushing you guys can get this it's very cheap like 80 ringgit roughly around 20 dollar $20 it's good the, for, the performance is good and this is my temporary spray booth 
Actually, I ask my friend to buy uh, like a water curtain spray booth from Taobao. So as for now, there's no news about it. So I bought a temporary spray booth, but this actually is quite good already. And I think I this is the second time I buy this one. So the actually the the performance is already good. So just because I don't want to handle with the dust and everything, that's why I want to try the water curtain spray booth. But this is already good enough for me. And this is my mask. This is very important if you guys spraying like lacquer paints are very toxic. So please use a proper mask. This one I use like six zero zero one. The filter. Different filter have different purpose, so make sure you guys check it properly. And this is cleaner. And here is my pre-tint paint. Actually, I already lost lost track of what kind of paint that I already pre-mix. Sometimes I rarely use like my my older pre-tint paint. Like this is basically my, uh, when I started the channel lah. So it's still there. I haven't used it. Like only small, small that I haven't throw yet. Only little left. This one is from AT Gaia Notes, Neutral Grey Three. It's very old paint, but I think it's already over two years. But it's still in a good condition. So you have no problem if you guys premix your paint. It will last you long. So don't worry. So yeah, this is my pretty paint, but. On top is my recently used lah, so I only use what's up here only. So this is Nasca primer, this is Hobby primer, this pay red, this pay black, this one is pink primer. This is especially for yellow and red paint. I use pink primer, and then another Nasca, and then also this pay blue. So yeah. And uh, oh, I forgot to tell you guys this spray booth. I uh, the host is I direct it to my window. Actually, uh, behind here is my kitchen. So the host is quite long to go through the kitchen and go outside the house life. The window at the back. And what else? I want to show you guys. Oh, up here is another old custom collection. My turn A. Exia and this is the latest one. I just snap fit my MG Virtue and another Spider Verse poster and Bluetooth speaker. If I if I want to have an ambient sound like lo-fi or a Yuruma piano song, I use Bluetooth speakers. And yeah, basically, ah, uh, this is my tripod for filming for shooting my video and. I'm sure you guys wondering where is my workstation table? Where do I work? Actually, it's we are moving it back and forth during shooting because this room is quite small, and my wife is handling the the camera, so she's having a hard time to move around. So we adjust the table. So the table is behind you guys. So show them. It's here. So we can move it. So it's easier for shooting lah. So then it will be here. So the place is actually here lah, in the middle. So ah, uh, this. Okay. So yeah, let me organize it. Okay. So this is my workstation lah. Basically, this is where I will sit and do my work. Right here. And this is my wireless headphone. So this table will serve me as a purpose of doing my work and also for taking pictures. So I plan it. So when I want to take a picture, I can move the table here. And this wall serve as a, a backdrop lah. So I will put a black cardboard. Eh, I will put a blackboard or something like card big cardboard and. Serve as a place for me to take a picture of my final product, final build. So yes, this table is movable, so it's easier for me. So it's I plan it like this lah. 
So it's easier for me to to do the work and taking a picture. And this one, I plan to use this also. This is a uh, like a tape a move a tripod. So we clamp it here, and I can put my camera. So I don't have to use a tripod to put beside me since sometimes tripod ah uh, it's like it's hard for me to to work with a tripod beside me so what i i think what i plan is i'm going to use this one as to serve as a tripod lah so you can move this around move this one move it here so i can get a really close up really close my camera will be a really close to my subject my my work my gundam or any project so i think this will be a really really good solution for me and also what i the, the reason why i do a table work table like an island because i plan to have a different different uh, shots for my video so previously my camera is always pointing like here or, or over here but this time i plan it to have like maybe i can shoot from here or from in front so i have will i will have a variety of camera angles so that it will make my video a bit more enjoyable to watch lah it's not boring from one angle only and oh and here is my my display markers my nipper display nippers 80 nippers nanya nippers my brushes my toothbrush when for when i'm using for scribing to clean up the dust ak weathering pencil pen for writing uh, ruler so yeah this is also my frequently used tools lah besides this drawer so i think that's it that's all for my my studio tour even though it's not big but i think it's quite spacious than previous studios lah so i really really to see i really really positive will be yes i really satisfied with my new new setup new studio besides i'm still waiting for my water curtain spray booth lah cuz i don't want to handle with the dust or everything so i don't know when will it will arrive but if it's not arrive then i just use this spray booth lah so hopefully you guys enjoy this video Um, for this year 2022, I hope I will give you guys a, a different vibe of EA Gunpla, and hopefully you guys are going to still support me. And for new followers, for new viewers, thank you so much. I will do my very best this year to give you guys the best content for it for this hobby lah. Not only Gundam but other model kit also. So yes. Stay tuned for my next video. I will do a tutorial about how to thin a lacquer paint. So, see you guys in the next video.